Hey guys, MBG here today with a look at the uh, new cool products for your tabletop. This is the Secret Weapon Minis Tablescapes uh, squares, I guess, for, for lack of a better term. They come in sets and they're, they're all very themed, uh, basically based on some of the base designs and textures and things that Justin came up with uh, over the past few years. And, you know, obviously he knows what sells good for him, so he kind of turned it into a table, Tablescapes tabletop here. And what's really nice about these is, is that they're one by one square. So they're very easy to store, to pick up, to move around. Uh, a lot more interchangeable possibilities than some of the other boards out there that might be like a 2x2 two two kind of configuration. Um, they still can be, you know, locked into 2x2 two two configurations and, and moved around depending on what you're kind of trying to do. But uh, the 1x1 one one really lends itself uh, a lot better to transportation and storage and things like that, in my opinion. Um, it's a really neat system, and they use these little uh, plastic clips to lock the, uh, the squares in on each other. Obviously, ones that are going to be in the center are going to have this one, and these little ones uh, go right here as, like, enders, so to speak. Uh, just to stay out of, you know, basically so you can square things up and flush things up with your actual table surface and uh, not bump into things as you're walking by it. Um, these are, uh, they're pretty well detailed. I mean, the initial prototypes Justin got back uh, had some, I guess, uh, some, some texture issues with them and he noticed that uh, right off the bat and fixed them uh, for the Kickstarter and things like that. And and it really got a good product out. And that's what it's all about is, you know, he, he really has a really good, commitment to quality that you you don't really see out there sometimes everybody's just you know in a mad dash to make cash and get stuff out the door and it's really nice to see somebody that actually cares uh, not only is out there helping the hobby and, and promoting it and doing seminars and things like that but actually putting out a good product so uh, kudos to him and you know I'm definitely uh, very much behind uh, the tablescapes idea and what's really neat too is if you you can basically lock these into a um, a two by two square, like I was saying, with these uh, with these clips here, um, and then you can go to like Home Depot or something and get pre-cut two by two masonite squares or MDF or whatever they call it at your your particular region. It just kind of depends, I guess. And actually, take liquid nails, uh, lock them in like you would want them, and you can take liquid nails and seal it all up right to um, lock it right into. Uh, a more sturdier surface if you want to carry it to you know maybe take it to a convention or something like like that make a pre-made display board kind of sort of thing so that was just an idea I had uh, just from moving stuff around the store and maybe taking to conventions I can conventions and tournaments that I could drive to so here you can kind of see uh, some of the surface let's get in a little a little tighter on this one it's definitely got some raised edges, you know, up to about uh, half an inch or so, which is pretty good detail for, for getting it injection molded in plastic. Uh, it isn't a super slippery surface, and what's nice about it is it's super reinforced on the back. I wouldn't stand on this, but I'm pretty sure it could hold a decent amount of weight at least. <laughs> and once you get some paint on it and get a little bit of texture, I'm sure you won't have too much problem with stuff sliding around it, but, you know, that being said, you definitely <laughs> playing on the unpainted surface would probably pose a little bit of a problem with figure sliding and you know just dice bouncing around and you know other other assorted problems like that. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind, you know, as you uh, check out check this product out. I think it's uh, I think it's really good. It's affordable. Uh, it's a really affordable product, and uh, I think I think we're going to see a lot more from this one. So that's it for for this one. Uh, make sure you stay in the trenches. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blogs. But you. Spikybitsblog.com and listen to our podcast, ForgeNarrative.com.